Which is something that you want to ask coach. Okay, obviously we're disappointed. We had two chances to get into the finals, one against India, and also today we thought that we had a chance today. When the pressure was off and Ireland won the first game, we know that even if we don't get a result, we replace that report. Uh, to, be, to be fair, I think uh, England were the better team today, definitely better in terms of the way they, 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 they pressured us in the first quarter and we considered three very quick goals and they're probably very, very difficult in the, when you have... We started off well in the first five, six minutes but once the first goal ran in and after we considered two very quick goals, the game was over. Uh, second two quarter was much better. We tried to get back into the game but we couldn't. We had corner corners but we didn't execute it well and uh, I think it was more or less over when they scored the fourth goal in the the first few minutes of the, sec uh, the okay. sec second half and so, uh, but I am very proud of the boys in the sense that they didn't put their head down even though the 6-0, 7-0, they kept on going, they kept on going and of course we managed to pull two goals back which is a small consolation but still, to just keep on fighting to the very minute, I think that, that is something that uh, that this team is uh, capable of going to the very end even though the game is over I think uh, to score two goals even though it's seven goals, uh, seven down and fight to the very last minute, I think that shows our fighting spirit. But that's not good enough. I mean, we need to be better at this level. Uh, that shows that today we are still a bit of distance away from the top teams. Uh, but knowing coming to this tournament, knowing that uh, you asked me before the tournament, you, can you play in the middle, the third and fourth? I think I'll take it any time. And uh, I think we have done well to get into the middle spot. Because uh, based on ranking, we should be playing the fifth and sixth. Coach, uh, all said and done, Coach. What actually caused the damage in the first part? What, what, what went wrong? I, I, I guess it was just simple individual mistakes. Under pressure, making the wrong decision. I mean, you can clear to the side, we clear the center, they collect that he did it. Uh, the shot corner goal could have been safe because I think we did a lot of uh, work, video work, and we knew that guy would flick that, that position of runner red well, a goalkeeper should make the save. I think these things are small, small things that make the difference. I mean, if you make the save, you keep us in the game at 1 0, that means this game is all but it's 3 0. 2-3 minutes and then you're 2-3-0 down, it means very difficult for us. And England are moving the ball very well, they have a lot of running, a lot of interchanging, a lot of hard work by our boys. And this is something that we really have to work today, and we really have to work when we, when we meet them again in the Commonwealth Games. Very fast. Yeah, they always fast. Any questions? Any more questions? Game. No, thank you very much. Yeah, tomorrow's game, of course, um, you know it's going to be a tough game, of course, uh, we've beaten Argentina in the full match. And I think being Olympic champions, being world number two, they don't want to lose two, two games in a row. So we expect a very tough game. Uh, of course, the, their main their main weapon is of course going to be Pele again. We managed to neutralize him, even though he hit one one hit the post in the oh, seven penalty corners and uh, managed to save. And uh, but I think uh, tomorrow again, uh, penalty corners the defense will have to be very alert because Pele is one of the top flickers in the world. And of course, uh, we believe that we can have a good game, but right now it's just to get the boys up mentally because they had a very hard game to get them ready to play another game. But we take it as an experience. We want to end the tournament well. We hope to have a good performance. I don't know whether we are not worried about the result, but the way to approach the game, the way to play well in a the, in the medal game, that is important for us to learn. Because we sometimes have to play, learn how to play a medal game, a third of a game to try and get a result in the tail end of the tournament. All right, whether you're tired, whether you, you're injured and all that, you have to put one last effort to try and get a result. Coach, the result only at 7-2, bagus ke untuk team coach untuk persediaan tournament yang lebih besar sepadan? Nobody wants to do 7-2, all right? We don't come in tournament, we don't come in the game try and do 7-2, but it happens. It happens in any game, all right? If you're not on form, if every, every shot at goal is a goal or if the guy is hot, obviously we are disappointed with the 7 goals, but we need to look again at how the goals, was it the individual error, was it the team error, was it some, some uh, brilliance by somebody, but it doesn't, I mean, nobody wants to do 7 2. Alright? Alright? If you look at top teams, also, uh, if you go back to the World Cup, Australia beat Holland 7 1 in the finals. And nobody says anything because Holland. I mean, we are ranked number 12. Alright? So if it's 7 goals, we accept it, we take it on our chin, and we move on. It's part of preparation. We know Suta Hassan is a part of preparation of the Commonwealth Games for the Asian Games. So we cannot cry over, look, 7 goals and say suddenly the team will come back. When we want 2 1, everybody says we're a good team. But they also got to take the knocks, they have to take the right. When it's good, win, then you take the, the praise. When you lose, then you have to take the criticism and you'll be strong mentally to fight back. That's all. Right. Okay.